Hello, this is Manny. I'll show you how to use morph targets um, inside uh, Maya and animate the uh, targets and then export that uh, shape into your game engine. In this case, it'll be Stingray. So let's start with a basic cube and I'll make that uh, a lot bigger. Uh, because Stingray is happier that way and I will also modify freeze the transformation that way it neutralizes it and I'll add some subdivision there by using the toolkit and uh, add divisions maybe add some more like that uh, don't add too much because uh, of course this is going to a game uh, so try to keep it simple all the time uh, click on Q to exit that uh, procedure so let's go ahead and uh, maybe use the shape tools to uh, give this some uh, morph targets so before we do that let's go into the uh, sculpting um, toolkit here and uh, select the shape editor. All right. So basically, what we want to do, like until now, we were kind of forced to use bones to animate our elements, and um, finally now we can use shape, which is uh, uh, excellent because there's uh, times like when you want to animate like a small patch of grass made of like cubes, and you try to do it with bones, and you'd have very limited uh, control on the vertices, and now you. Uh, definitely have a lot more control by using shape uh, so we'll animate the shape targets and then export that into your game engine so here goes uh, first we want a uh, new blend shape uh, target base shape hierarchies oh, it wasn't selected sorry about that uh, let me just try that again while it is selected and there we go and then you need a target so this is the blend shape and you'll have many targets underneath it uh, usually you just need one blend shape and um, that's the first one let's add some shape here uh, I'll use um, what can I use maybe the grab here and uh, go ahead and uh, grab but actually I'll use the uh, which one is it there it is this one is called this one I kind of like and it's called the bulge so let's bulge that and actually before I do that I will add um, let, let me exit that and add a new material and make it a PBS and me modify the PBS to use a color map and assign one whatever like let's take this just to make it more interesting um, and here goes so I can edit this uh, first shape here which has nothing now I will uh, select the uh, bulge and go ahead and bulge maybe this face and uh, the one underneath okay to modify your bulge uh, uh, presets uh, B is for the brush size and M is for the strength. All right, and let's call a new target and make that one. Notice the edit is red, which means you can edit this now. Uh, let's modify this side and possibly this side. Okay, so let me um, un um, check the edit here and notice that this one controls this side and this one controls this side don't forget to uncheck the edit when you're not editing or else it'll modify your base shape if you move um, uh, any vertices so good now we can uh, export this uh, so uh, actually before we do that let's add some animation so uh, assuming that in the beginning uh, all we see is a square and then uh, further down I will just key actually I'll key the first one here to here and then before that I will key this one 
and that one will end at the end okay uh, so we're ready to export that to our game engine it's fairly simple and it works really well so uh, let's simply go to file export uh, send to stingray uh, uh, and obviously we want to export to uh, stingray selection it's really simple and in my stingray I'll actually go there now before I do this in my stingray I will go to content uh, maybe yeah actually I'll just go to uh, I can go to models if I want and okay and um, basically that's where the uh, the unit with the shape will reside so I'll go back to my Maya and once again file export select actually no send to unity uh, to stingray selection and that's in content models shape bulge and uh, just give it any name like uh, shape b whatever okay and now notice that uh, in the bottom your your stingray will be flashing letting you know hey uh, i'm ready and um, set it as such uh, you need your um, the skeleton uh, to be enabled here uh, because if you add more shape it will associate it with the skeleton so it's not really a skeleton maybe they'll change the name in the future uh, so you need to import clips yes and create an animation folder I prefer that and make sure that your blend shapes is enabled here uh, let's import all right uh, we're not exactly done I can go here and uh, take a little snapshot. Good, uh, because if I import this to my game, it's not perfect. Uh, let me actually load, open another level that's a little more complete. Basic, good. And let me just toss this a bit and uh, bring this one here. Okay, notice that there is no animation and I want to see the animation, so uh, let me just remove that. Right click and uh, create animation controller. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Uh, give it the same name, that's fine. Now this controls what uh, will be, um, uh, what we'll see uh, uh, in concer uh, concerning the animation. So. I can delete these, this empty clip here and on my base layer what do I want to see as a default state uh, my animation of course so I'll just um, bring in that uh, those animated uh, shape targets and there we go and just make sure that the default state is set to that and I think that's all we need to do uh, now we need to save that and as soon as you save it you can see that it's going to do the animation in that little preview window so that kind of tells me that things should work um, let's go back to shape bolt and import that uh, unit and there we go uh, there is my shape with the um, animated morph targets let me play the level and that works perfectly thanks for watching